Ladies and gentlemen, hey hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's a new season here in Cold War and Warzone. That means we've got plenty of new exclusive items and rewards to unlock. And something that we've always done in the past throughout Modern Warfare and Warzone and even the start of Cold War is break down the rarest items you can get either in any given season or the rarest items that are rare in the first place because it is a brand new season. So that is exactly what we're doing today with season two. As always, if you enjoy the video at any point, let me know by dropping a like on it. Uh, let's shoot for 3,500 likes on this one. And of course, if you're new to the channel or if you haven't already subbed, this is the place to be for everything going on in COD. So if you want to stay on top of the latest news, intel, updates, all that stuff, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. So just to preface, some of the content featured today is still available and I'd like to let you guys know while it's still active, that way you actually have a chance to earn it. Uh, other content though is now rare because it's no longer available. Like for instance, the very first items on today's list, the Outbreak Event Blueprints. Now of course, the Outbreak Event just came to a close this past week. Uh, we had that to kick off the whole launch of Season 2 and what's kind of peculiar about the event itself is that this actually offered up two different blueprints. Uh, one was given for the Warzone challenges and then the other for the Outbreak specific challenges. And the first one was the Grey Matter Tundra variant, which was like this uh, silvery blue and teal camo with the Wrap Suppressor, the Lancer Barrel, the Front Grip, and also the 9 Round Mag, which honestly wasn't a super bad blueprint. Uh, then you could also get the Teal Drop blueprint, and this one comes with the Chrome Lined Barrel, the 12 Round Mag, and then also the Speed Grip. Honestly, kind of a bummer, it only has three attachments on it. Uh, but both of those are now actually pretty rare considering they were an event reward and obviously uh, said event is no longer available. Now, something that can actually be earned all throughout the coming months, uh, not just in Season 2, is that of the new CDL or the Call of Duty League rewards. Basically how these work is that by watching the CDL streams, uh, aka the home series then also the major events, you can end up earning a handful of different rewards depending on when you're watching. Stage 1 for instance, which just wrapped up, offered some exclusive calling cards and some emblems, alongside some double XP, then also some double weapon XP. And as the season continues, the new stages in the future are going to offer up even more new rewards as well. And eventually, apparently they're going to expand to things like operator skins too, according to Activision, which obviously, if you're looking for cool free stuff, calling cards and emblems are nice, but obviously operator skins, maybe even some blueprints in the future. That's really the, uh, the main content that we're looking for there. So if you're looking to earn some cool free stuff that you can get by watching Call of Duty, uh, yeah, this is pretty much the perfect scenario. Now to actually get these rewards, you need to go to your Call of Duty account on the Call of Duty website, then go into your settings and your connections, and then link your YouTube account to your Activision account. Then you're going to be able to watch the CDL streams on the CDL YouTube channel, and earn those rewards, which over time are going to become increasingly rare as more stages go by. Then next up, we've got the Adler Ambassador skin, and this is actually only available for the next few days. Uh, this is in collaboration with Mountain Dew, and you can earn this skin by making specific purchases on select Game Fuel products before March 16th, which obviously is coming up here in just a few days. And this is essentially like a black and green outfit for Adler that looks pretty unique, I would say. Uh, not a bad looking skin at all in my mind. Really nothing too crazy, just like some green accents here and there, but uh, seeing as this is only available until the 16th of this month, it's definitely going to be pretty rare as time goes on. Also, while we are on the topic of Mountain Dew, of course, Dew and Doritos had the whole double XP promotion with Cold War and Warzone to start the year, and if you're able to still find any of those marked Mountain Dew products, uh, you can end up actually getting the animated Mountain Dew emblem, which is sort of like a nuke explosion, but it's Mountain Dew green instead. Again, nothing too crazy, but since this was a limited promotion for Cold War's launch, they're definitely a bit harder to find now, and ultimately, so is the animated emblem. That said, you could always just go on eBay and buy a code for this if you really wanted to. That is pretty much a surefire way of getting these rewards if you don't have the opportunity to find that marked box or marked bottle in a store. Now, let's talk an extremely, extremely rare set of items that was pretty rare before because like the whole difficulty behind getting them unlocked. But now these items are even more rare because, well, they're no longer accessible. That is the original Warzone and Modern Warfare Easter Egg Blueprints aka the Mud Dropper MP7, which you got for completing the Bunker 11 Easter Egg, the Enigma Blueprint, which you got from getting the whole Stadium Keycard Easter Egg done, then also the Firebrand Bruin Blueprint, that's a tongue twister in a sense, uh, and you got that one from doing the Subway Station Easter Egg, and essentially with the launch of Season 2, Raven removed the entire subway system, they removed the parking garage level on the stadium, and they also closed off access to a handful of bunkers, including bunker number 11, which means these items are now no longer accessible or unlockable, and chances are they're probably never going to be unlockable ever again. So if you ended up getting these blueprints, congrats, you've got them on your account permanently, but 
if you didn't get a chance to, unfortunately, that opportunity is now gone forever. Not gonna lie, I never went back and did the Bunker 11 Easter Egg or the Stadium Easter Egg after I initially did them. Uh, back when both of those first dropped, I made a whole video about how to complete them and like a whole guide for that for you guys. And apparently, uh, like my squad and I did them so early, the blueprints didn't actually register for us. So despite the fact that I was super early on into completing these Easter eggs, I never actually got the blueprint, then was just too lazy to go back and do them. So unfortunately, I don't even have two out of three of these. I did get the one Bruin one from the subway station, but uh, the Bunker 11 one and then also the Stadium one aren't on my account. Kind of a bummer. Uh, but yeah, the original Modern Warfare Warzone Easter egg blueprints are now way more rare than ever before. Then moving on, we've also got some new Xfinity slash Comcast rewards for this season. Uh, basically, if you are an Xfinity customer, you can end up getting a code to enter in the Xfinity Challenge. And just for entering in this, you get some double XP, I believe like five hours of it or something like that. Then also an animated emblem. And if you really want to compete in the tournament, uh, you have a chance to end up winning a new TV or even a gaming laptop. Uh, but as for the rare items, obviously, we're looking at that emblem since it is only available if you have Comcast or Xfinity and you choose to enter the challenge. Uh, keep in mind, you don't actually have to compete in the tournament or the challenge if you don't want to. You can just get your code and then get the reward and head on out. But this is only available to Xfinity customers and it's only a Season 2 thing as well. So in turn, pretty rare because of that. Then also, the Season 2 Combat Pack just dropped and this is only available for PlayStation and obviously only available during Season 2 as well. Pretty similar to how it worked back in Modern Warfare, this combat pack comes with a brand new operator skin for Baker, a new blueprint called the Tiger Claw for the M16. Seems like we just have a ton of M16 blueprints so far. Uh, we also have a brand new pistol blueprint called the Pace Breaker, a new calling card, a blueprint called the Boonie, a new Hawk weapon charm, and then also a double XP token that is completely free on PlayStation. And like most of this other content, you can choose to use this either in Cold War or Warzone. Then finally for today, uh, this is not so much of an item, but rather an achievement, and that is level 1000. Especially since season two is so much shorter than season one, reaching level 1000 in like 55 days or so is definitely not a super easy task. I mean, I play almost every single day for like three to five hours. Even last season, I only got to like level 600 or something like that. Uh, so this is definitely not something most players are going to achieve. And in turn, reaching rank 1000 in season two is also incredibly rare. So yeah, there you have it. With all of that being said, those are the rarest items you can earn or get in Season 2 of Cold War and Warzone. That's going to wrap things up for today. If you enjoyed the video, let me know by dropping a like on it. And of course, if you're new here and you want to stay on top of the latest Call of Duty news, intel, updates, and pretty much everything else in between, feel free to subscribe with your notifications turned on. That way you'll always know whenever I upload a new video. As always, if you want to check out any of my partners, be sure to use code IMMORTAL for a discount on all SCUF, G Fuel, and Control Freak products. And the links for all those can be found down in the description below. But once again, thanks so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.